Uh, uh, three things. One is is somewhat the technology. As mm -hmm. we continue to scale at, at the, the levels we're talking about when we're talking identity and biometrics, uh, what is the technology that's able to do that from large system, large transactions, uh, and multimodality, right. and, and all those features? Uh, number two, just to echo Jeremy, it's, it's when biometrics, and we started back in 2003, there were no national level around the world scale programs of identity and, and biometrics. Right. Uh, now, in 2011, across the international spectrum, uh, governments are starting to use biometrics and identity for various purposes, right. whether or not it's, it's border control or uh, um, citizen services or for their financial systems. You know, look at India. Right. That's a scale that will be very interesting to, right. to watch. Uh, <laughs> makes, makes us look small in comparison. Mm -hmm. uh, and the echo of the privacy. You know, in that international ecosystem with identity and biometrics, uh, what is the privacy considerations in there? And, and one thing that the U.S. visit has been successful since the very beginning, we established privacy and security at the very, you know, the very front. Right. We have a dedicated privacy officer uh, at our program level. We have a privacy officer at a national protection and programs directorate level, and we have the DHS privacy officer. As a matter of fact, this is our privacy awareness week uh, right. that we're doing a lot of cyber biometrics and identity uh, work this week. So that privacy uh, in an international ecosystem, not just uh, a domestic, is going to be, I think, uh, challenges um, to go yeah, forward. Yeah, I agree.